The old Yellowstone Trail, starting here at the trailhead at Washington Street in Deer Lodge, is a 10-mile trail that tracks all the way to Garrison. These are the final punch list things to open it up and just put the last icing on the cake for everything. So After five months of construction, Jeremy Mickey, owner of P3M, puts the finishing touches on the old Yellowstone Trail. That'll go along with these two concrete benches and then the recycled plastic bench. They'll go at key points that they've picked out for people to rest and hang out. Amanda Cooley, the Powell County Planning Director, has worked hard with the county to make this trail a reality. There's a ton of nature along the trails, so you can see birds, people have seen moose on the trail, um, and it, costs, it crosses two active ranches, so you also kind of get a piece of that Montana agriculture. That's where the trouble for the trail begins. The trail is laid on an old county road, and the first mile connects directly into the Grant Corps' Ranch National Historic Site. There's an ongoing discussion with Grant Corps about how to handle the ownership, whether or not it's county controlled or um, if the national park has the domain over it. Another section of the old county road crosses into property owned by Rock Creek Cattle Company in an area where active calving and branding occurs in the springtime. In June, a judge granted a temporary restraining order that stopped construction on the cattle company's property. But their request for a preliminary injunction was denied. This allowed the county to continue construction and finish it. The county is optimistic that we can come to a resolution that benefits both parties because we do feel like it's an amenity that serves the entire community. Rock Creek Cattle Company appealed the decision. But for now, the public can enjoy biking and walking through the old Yellowstone Trail. In Deer Lodge, Caitlin Aguilas, MTN News.